So you might be in a situation where you're getting these pop-ups on your particular Android phone that just, can't, that just keep telling you that the phone is getting warm and you might be trying to figure out how to fix that. Now, the big thing you have to keep in mind is that if your phone is actually getting warm, there's really not that much you have to do. It pretty is, it's pretty self-explanatory. You're going to have to essentially just go through and just you know make your phone colder. So if you're playing a bunch of heavy intensive games on your phone, if you're playing like Genshin Impact at like 30,000 frames per second, or if you're playing a very, very you know, intensive game, maybe you're video editing on your particular Android phone, something like that, the best thing you can do and one of the biggest things you can do is just to put your phone in a cool environment and let it just cool down by itself. A lot of the times, like I said before, if you're getting these types of pop-ups, really the main thing you have to do is just cool down your phone. So go ahead and do that. You can click on OK and that will make that pop-up go away. But that is the very first thing I'd recommend doing is to just go through and you know cool down your phone and just kind of see what happens after that. Now, let's say you do that and that's still not working. Sometimes you may just have to go through and basically just update your phone. So sometimes this can be a lot of, a, this can kind of fix the problems for a lot of people. So what you're going to want to do here is you want to go ahead and basically just make your way over into your particular settings application. So you make your way over into settings just like this. And then you might see this little pop-up that comes up here. What you want to do here is you want to go and basically scroll down until you see system. So scroll into system right here. Scroll down again until you see your software update panel right here. And all you're going to want to do here is basically just go through, click on system update. And what you want to do here is you want to just update your phone. That's another thing that you're going to want to do here and that might end up fixing it. Sometimes you may just have to restart your phone and those things can end up fixing the problem. But those are basically the main ways to go and fix the problem for the most part as far as I can tell. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comments section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.